Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we will start our lesson on sentences by reviewing our learning targets. Our learning targets are what we will learn by the end of the lesson. This is what you will go home and tell your mom and dad. Today's learning target is, I will write a complete sentence. Yes, that's right. You will be able to write a complete sentence. First of all, let us remember, what is a sentence? Well, a sentence shares a complete thought. So we need to make sure our sentence has one complete thought that expresses it to the listener or the reader. Also remember, there's a few other things that a complete sentence needs to be or have. Number one. It needs to have a capital letter like this F, this capital S, or this capital Q. It also needs to have a punctuation mark at the end like a period, a question mark, and a exclamation point. Today we are going to learn how to write a complete sentence using a three-part sentence. In a three-part sentence, there must first be a who. And this who is who the sentence is about, or what, sometimes, mostly a who. The second part of the sentence has to be an action. What is the action, like run, or jump, or play? Finally, in a three-part sentence, we're going to have a what. Who did the action, and what? All right, so let's see what this looks like. Let's go ahead and make our three-part sentence organize it with our who, our action, and our what. And let's take a look at the picture. Ooh, look at that picture. That's a tall tower. It looks like someone's climbing the tower. So I'm going to write a sentence based on this picture. First, I'm going to have my who. And I'm just going to simply write the boy. What is the boy doing? Well, the boy is climbing. Climbing. The boy climbs. So the boy climbs. And what is the boy climbing? The boy is climbing the wall. Now let's see here. Do I have all the parts I need? It's a one complete thought. The boy climbs the wall. And it has a capital letter and it has a punctuation mark, a period at the end. So let's see that sentence. The boy climbs the wall. That's a complete sentence. Great job. Let's try it again. So first, we are going to make our three-part organizer. And in our three-part organizer, we have the who, the action, and the what. Now, we're going to look at the picture and think about the picture in our mind. Hmm, how can I write a complete sentence about this picture? So let's start with the who. In the picture, I see kids, so I'm going to write the kids. What are the kids doing? Well, they're racing, so the kids race. What are they racing? They're racing around the track. So let's rewrite this sentence and see how it looks. So it looks like the kids race around the track. We use the three parts, the who, which is the kids, the action, the race, and what are they racing around? Around the track. Great job. So, what did we accomplish today? Well, this is what you did and what we're going to practice some more. Remember, say this and read this with me. I can write a complete sentence with a who... A, an action, and a what. Let's try that again. I can write a complete sentence with a who, an action, and a what. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to practice it. Thanks for watching. This was created by me, Mr. Cogswell. Make sure you have your listening ears on, and let's go.